Praveen sir, uh, can you tell me how can I achieve uh, inner silence? Is there a technique, something that I should do, being mindful, etc.? You, me, and the same way who is 23 years old, maybe younger than me. To understand inner silence, you have to understand the difference between watching and thinking. Mm. Right. There are two ways we consume time. So we all are consuming time. Time is moving linear, but we are consuming it. Mm. We, are, we are in the time. We are moving in the space. When we move in the space, we move in the time. Right. So if space you can calculate in kilometers, time you can calculate in seconds or minutes. So every time when you are, for example, after one hour, you know that you have consumed one hour, mm -hmm. right? If you are vigilant enough. Kya kya chhi bolen na? Gadi ko sab piche lagate the. Haan, main laga deta. Yeah, yeah. Fir apko acha bhi deta, acha wala. Ji ji ji. Chalo, apne apne baat kya na? To kutiya ke andar bolne ka. Ji ji ji. Thank you. So coming back to your question, the inner silence is all about first the understanding time and space, and then what you are doing in time and space. But we can do one thing only at a time. The machine, the the mind is is very 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 evolved organ in last, especially in last fifty thousand years because of the prefrontal cortex. Very evolved organ. The, our, our mind, uh, our mind only differentiates us from other animals. The prefrontal cortex, the ability to visualize, very evolved organ. It has a bug. What is the bug in it? The bug in it, in it is that prefrontal cortex, which is designed to visualize our thinkings and mm. thinking and the real images coming from inside. So imagine if this is prefrontal cortex. Imagine if this is prefrontal cortex in your mind, right? Mm. So there are two ways the memory, the the visuals are coming in your mind in prefrontal cortex. One is of course from your eyes, what you see, what you see, what you see, what you see, what you see. What you see. Now there's a goat there. Mm. So another is what you think, what you think, what you think, what you think, what you think. Right. You might stand in front of a goat and think about the tiger. Exactly. Or you might stand in front of the tiger and think about the goat. You can do anything, right? Right. So prefrontal cortex is getting the signals either from the thoughts which is nothing but the memory hmm. right or from from the reality so the problem with prefrontal cortex it's prefrontal cortex is not aware whether the memory is coming or the visuals are coming from the eyes or from the memory memory it, that's why i always say that if i think about tamrid then you will have water in your mouth there's hmm. no tamrid you're just thinking about it but prefrontal cortex activated your body mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You have a dog bite in your life, maybe maybe early in the childhood, and then you you have a dog in front of you, and dog is just barking. You prefrontal cortex. The dog is not even interested in you. Hmm. Prefrontal cortex. Thank you. Right. So you have to understand that bug, and then once you understand that bug, then you understand thinking and watching. Every hmm. time when your prefrontal cortex consuming the content from your thoughts that is thinking and every time when your prefrontal cortex just consuming the content from outside is watching mm -hmm. so life is there to watch life is not there to think can you watch the life the way you watch netflix can mm -hmm. you consider life as a 360 degree live subscription right can you watch like camera is on but the recording button is off can you sit on the mountain and watch the world like a monkey sitting, sitting on the mountain? Mm. Calm, composed, relaxed. Right. That you cannot do overnight. Of course. The outside silence you can achieve overnight. Mm. Imagine there is absolute zero electricity in the city and all the vehicles are standby. No one is talking. No ACs are on. Mm. No vehicles are on. No one is talking. You achieve outside silence. Right. Or you take a flight, go to the mountain, you go to the villages, you go to here, you achieve outside silence. Right. Inside silence, understanding the difference between thinking and watching, hmm. cannot be done overnight. Right. Why? Because we have been trained to think. Can we train ourselves to watch? Because the wisdom lies in the moment. Wisdom hmm. lies outside, not in your mind. Hmm. Outside. And right. to access content in time and space outside.
is the real consumption of time and space maybe because you already know what you know exactly if you are accessing only your mind you are accessing what you know and the, we are here to consume content from outside exactly. not from inside hmm so to be very precise answer to your question the inner silence it's a process and moment when you say it's a process then it's it's something which is worth ignoring why because humans are busy in so many other processes it's a one more process mm. why one should take one more process humans are already so many processes it's like for them the cutting the hair is a process Hmm. the boys cut the hair process <laughs> sleep in the night <clears throat> process tell me one animal who sleeps so deeply the way he sleep but hmm. we have accepted the process you know we have to it's 10 o'clock let's sleep all in the morning tea process hmm human being every step is already a process why hmm. to add one more process for uh, something which is so minuscule and nonsense that is inner peace which is so <laughs> ignored by human beings So why to talk about all that process? <laughs> agreed, agreed. Thank you, Pravin sir.